Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I'm going to be giving you an exclusive interview with Richard Breeze from R&D Games, talking about his next game, Keeper, which is due for release at Essen 2017, and Richard's idea for a very special Kickstarter edition. In this video, Richard's going to be answering my questions, and also demonstrating his prototype copy of the game. So, Richard, tell me a little bit about Keeper. Well, Keeper is the first new uh, key game set back in the medieval mythical uh, kingdom of the Keedom uh, since Keyflower in 2012. Uh, the game is for two to four players. It has some new mechanics. It has a new game board, flexible game board. Um, but in common with the other key games, it has a medieval theme. There's plenty of player interaction. It's a worker placement game. Everything you do is positive rather than negative. So you, you're building things, you're creating things, uh, and there's not the sort of destructive element that you have in some games. Can you explain more about the player boards, including this new flexible board? Well, each player, uh, that's two boards in Keeper. The main village board, which has different sections. It's got the farm area, the village, the fairground, and the storage area. Fairly basic, but slightly more interesting is the, um, the country board. Now, the country board has various different sides to it. We start with a fixed position for the beginning of spring. The game is played over four seasons. Uh, and the, you can tell which side that the uh, board is on uh, for the season based on the field, which has the keeper in it and the season symbol which is next to the keeper. So this is set for spring at the moment, uh, but the board will also flex so that we have um, several different, four different permutations for spring, four for summer, four for autumn, winter. There are certain seasons, in different seasons you can get different uh, fields. Some of those um, are only available in some seasons. So, for example, in spring you have these fields which convert the raw materials to finished goods, whereas later on in the game, in autumn and winter, uh, you'll have so, um, fields which allow you to uh, get certain gems. So certain things are available for certain seasons, and you'll manipulate the board in order to lay those at the end of each season to provide the opportunity of getting the uh, resources that you're looking for. And what about these key pools? It looks like each player has a set of different coloured ones. At the beginning of the game, uh, each player has a team. They have their keeper, which is a little waving key pool, and then they have a team of eight other key pools. Uh, there is a, an orange one who is a, a clay worker and brick maker. There is a green one, light green, which is a, a farmer. There's a light blue one who works on the boats. There's a brown one who's a forester. Uh, there's a grey one who's working the quarries, and there's a black one that's working the mines. And you also get two white ones who are able to act, if you like, as a joker. They can work with uh, any of the other keepers and can be the same colour as any of the other keepers. So how do the keepers work? Uh, the way that they work is that we can place the keepers uh, either onto any one of the country boards or onto our own village board you cannot play on other people's village boards. If I place a keeple onto a field, it will generate whatever is generated by that field. In this case, uh, it will generate a log, and that will be put onto the resource section in your board. Um, but you'll notice here that I put an orange keeple onto a brown field, so there is not a color match. So that's why I only generated one uh, brown cube. If I had put the keeple onto a color match space, for example here, um, I would have generated not one but two clay because it's a speciality in that colour. So that would be two of those resources. Uh, there are resources, there are uh, fields which match each of the different colours. There are also some which have no colour at all, in which case you never get a colour match. But what is um, different about this game is that each of these fields, uh, both on the country boards and also on your own village board, uh, can accommodate two keepers. On your turn, you can only place one keeper. So if someone else, starting with the player on my left, wants to join me, then they could join me either with a keeper of the same colour uh, or a white keeper, which can be any colour. The advantage of joining me on a location is that the two keepers work together. 
So as well as producing one because we've placed the keeper, two because there's a colour match, we also get a third resource because the two are working together and that's a third resource for each player. So there is an advantage uh, for a player in working with uh, another player on their turn. So joining someone else looks like a good idea, but aren't you going to run out of your own keepals, leaving you none left to use on your own turn? Uh, that's exactly right, Paul. What um, happens is that if you play on other people's turns, then yes, you will get your keepals down, perhaps ahead of other players. At some time during each season, you're going to play your keeper into one of the four locations which has got the waving keeper. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're claiming that board. That means for the following season, uh, all of the keepers that are on that board will come back and they will be your resource, they will be your team for the next season. Now, that's going to mean that players have a different number of keepers. Uh, also, during the first season also, because you're joining in, you're potentially going to finish playing the keepers before another player. If you have finished playing all your keepers and it is your turn, then you have the ability to lay down the keepers that you've already played. So each keeper has the potential to join or to play twice or to work twice. So for example, in this field, if I lay down, if it's my turn and I haven't got no keepers left, then what I can do is I can lay down this keeper. This one will work with it and they will generate the resources for a second time. So what happens at the end of a season? At the end of each season, when all of the players have played all their keepers, uh, at that stage you take the board, the country board that you have claimed with your keeper, and you take all of the keepers that are on that country board, and they become your team for the next season. You also take back any keepers that you've played with them on your own village board. So what you'll see is that the team is no longer one of each colour. You may well end up with pairs of colours, um, you may end up with more or fewer keepers. You also manipulate the country board so that the following season um, becomes visible. So in this time we'll be looking for the summer. You'll choose the board uh, and place it in such a way that it gives you the particular resources that you're looking for. Um, but also this selection of keepers that you have for the second season will potentially influence how you're going to play the game moving forward. The other influence as to how my tactics are going to develop in the game um, will depend on these country tiles that are available. During each, uh, at the beginning of spring, there are eight country tiles, and these are seeded so that the spring tiles um, come out initially. There are, as soon as the bag is empty with the spring tiles, there's piles of other tiles that will come into the game. But these are reasonably powerful tiles, and these will enable you, or these will influence how you play the game going forward. So for example, there's one here. Um, this will allow me to convert a raw material into two raw materials or a finished good into two finished goods. There appear to be a lot of choices in the game. Can you tell us a little bit more about the various strategies? Uh, yeah, there's, within the game, um, there's several different strategies you want to adopt and a player is likely to be influenced by the, the, the ones that are available, the country tiles which are available for uh, obtaining when a player places one of their keepers onto the location which allows you to get a country tile. So for example if I had this livestock market that would potentially swing me into the direction of looking to develop my farmyard and to accommodate um, some of the eight different types of uh, animals that are in the game. Uh, but it would also enable me to achieve some of the fairs in the game. If I've started to develop my farmyard, that's one way to move forward in the game. Uh, a second way is to develop my village. Uh, the third way is to um, try to complete as many of the fairs as one can uh, obtain. There are further fairs that are available later on during the game, but you start with one in spring, one in summer, and one in autumn. The advantage of the fairs is that you only have to display the goods at the end of the season, or the resources. Uh, you do retain them, so they can effectively be scored for a second time um, because you can use them towards building or towards scoring on other tiles. And also there is the shipping strategy. There are certain tiles which come out which allow you to ship more things or more efficiently. But generally you'll find that if you're going to have a winning strategy, you'll probably need to dip into more than one strategy and have a mix from a couple of those different areas. What made you choose to go the Kickstarter route for this game? 
Um, so what we thought would be fun was to have a special edition of the game uh, where each of these are character keepers. And not only that, we have a male and female character keeper in each colour, or two in each colour, because there are uh, 9, 18, 36 of these in the game. However, and unfortunately, these are inevitably quite expensive to produce, and I don't really have a feel for the demand for that. So I thought the best thing to do would be to say, well, this is an option. Um, if you'd like to uh, have a copy of the game, which has got the special character keepers in, this is the opportunity to get one.